What is up guys, Mr. Willem Thor here. In this video, I'll be showing you all Easter eggs and secrets of Revelations. If you didn't see all the other Easter eggs and secrets of the other maps, there should be a playlist in the description. And if you need the timestamps, just check the description too. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Where did you come from, good looking? Get a little concerned about what's going to happen to us once these apothecons are done. is coming. It's always better to be prepared. I always am. Let's take this up a notch. It is the end of time and space for fuck's sake. I love old movie theaters. Not many of them left. It's a crying shame. Not sure we're gonna make it out of this one, Tank. Not all of us, anyway. Sometimes. If you want 
to get up, you need a little revive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you need some help to get by, something to make you feel faster, wait, voracious. Is that better? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And what was it again? Reach for the juggernaut tonight. Sugar seduction delight. Strong. Reach for Juggernaut tonight. Hmm, nice. Your hands are slow. Your movement sluggish. Your lack of speed just brings you anguish. Just take a sip. You will move faster. Just try it now. And speed is mastered. Press those lips against the only one that really moves you. Speed, Cola, speeds up your life. Thirsty partner? It, it's it's gonna be fine. I think. I hope. Yeah, it'll be fine. So much of the past has returned, but what of our future? to my skin. <laughs> I don't feel good about taking out a former ally. Even if he 
was possessed. Junkies, I'm supplying the dead. Okay, need to find some ammo. Right fucking now! Let's take this up a notch. What is the end of time and space for fucks? Look you everywhere. I find weapons with more bullets. This place will run red with your blood. Grateful for everything. So much of the past has returned. What of our future? You know, you guys have really grown on me. To be honest, I really didn't...
us good. In our darkest hour, we must seek help from even the most unlikely of allies. Or do we assist it? Together with the Seekers, we may finally rid the universe of these demons. Fortune favors us, for now. In time, all good deeds are rewarded. That's more like it! I'm actually very impressed. We the give it up kind. instead of skulking about in the house talking into a microphone. secure channel in the most dire of circumstances. The Pentagon is under attack from an unknown enemy. As of this moment, I am safely ensconced inside a janitor's closet. Unfortunately, I fear the President and the VIPs may not have found similar safe haven. From what I have observed, our attackers may be blighted by some kind of sickness. Either that or they're just dirty hippies under the influence of hallucinogenic substances. I can only hope that this message will bring rescue. Until then, please, pray for me. Our revels are now ended. These are actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are melted into air, into thin air. And like the basis fabric of this vision, the cloud cap towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself. Yea, all which it inherits shall dissolve. And like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. We are such stuff as dreams are made of, and our little lives 
are rounded with a sleep. Midway, this way of life we're bound upon, I woke to find myself in a dark wood, where the right road was wholly lost and gone. I, me, how hard to speak of it. That rude and rough and stubborn forest. The mere breath of memory stirs the old fear in the blood. But when, at last, I stood beneath the steep hillside, which closed that valley's wandering maze, whose dread had pierced me to the heart root deep, then I looked up and saw the morning rays mantle its shoulder from that planet bright, which guides men's feet all right on all their ways. I hope you're receiving this transmission, Peter. If you are not, then all hope is lost. You must know by now that we failed to contain the asylum, that we had to move the experiment here. Location. The numbers will guide you. The giant must remain. At all costs, repeat, Der Ries must... At all costs. The DG2 experiments continue. You'll be our only advantage now. Find Dr. Richthofen and Dr. Maxis. They may know what's going on. The use of element 115 is dangerous at best. I'm not sure if we can continue here. We've lost most of our best. I hope you get this. I hope it hasn't happened there too, but I'm almost out of hope. Six, zero, five, four, zero, six, point, nine, six, one, zero, one, five, five, four, four, point, nine, four. It's been six weeks since the last of the Call of the Dead cast and crew went missing. Hollywood's lost its fucking mind with this story. An entire production vanishes? Crazy talk. I told you, this is why you don't shoot in Siberia. So if agent on line one, manager on line two, I needed to sort this quickly. I'd rather zombies come for me than an agent. That's real horror. I don't need that. I started going through his research, and good fucking lord, this is a confusing mess. So much shit about time travel, different dimensions. Honestly, I'm not even sure who he's getting into. You can make this stuff up. A mad German scientist, a foul-mouthed American, a drunk Soviet, and a warrior Japanese soldier. All working together? So I started with a simple one. Something about two guys named Brock and Gary looking for Arthur. They finished like dead for your head start there. Next thing I know, I'm in this jungle, and it's hot and humid, and the sky goes black, like dark black. I look up, there's an eclipse, and these things start chasing me, like zombies. Trust me, I know how it sounds. I've been fighting them so long now, I should be dead. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have died, but it just keeps going. I've started setting up these traps. I'm proud of them if I do say so myself. Wait, I hear something. Can't help but think they hold some kind of key clues. We should investigate the stepped pyramid for some clues. I think we should get the hell out of here while we still have the chance. But Come we're so on, close to proving the existence of- ah! Ugh, finally. Sorry, the only thing more annoying than the undead are those two guys, whoever they are. Anyway, I've been trying to get some bars on myself for days, and I'm having no luck. I swear, if I die a few more times, I may actually lose it. At least then I'll have those agents off my back. So I just sat down with Stanley Ferguson, night guard at Alcatraz. He told me a heck of a tale. 
A few years back, four idiots, three monsters and some weasel, had this brilliant plan to escape the rock. I know they sound like real geniuses, these guys. Anyway, this weasel was quite the talker. He had these guys convinced they could escape. He told them he could build a plane and that together they'd all fly right off the rock. Now the weasel had plans and drawings and everything. I saw them. But even if they built it, no way that baby would ever fly. These monsters, it's lost on me. They were smart guys. I mean, sound a little bit. No way you can convince a man of his caliber something so absurd. So I guess at some point, the whole sorry truth came out, and the weasel found himself cornered. They did him good. Left him bleeding to death on the cold stone roof. They all got the chair for him, and that was that. Sad to think that three guys like that could find themselves swinging, all because they bought into the lies of a delusional combat. Anyway, no clue why Mr. Rapp wanted me to meet this Stanley first, but I'm headed to the city now. Something about tracking down three doozies and a floozy. Oh yeah, not to mention those artifacts in the South Pacific and Russia. I don't know what that's about. I never even met this guy. Likes to stay to the shadows. Real weirdo. But the money's good now. Maybe it'll all make sense when I get there. Sophia. Yes. You know what we must do, my dear. Yes, my love. We will do it together. As one we are. Now and forever. With the evil vanquished, I can start making it all nice again. No undead, no apothecums, no shadow man. All of it gone. Forever. But it, here's the funny thing. You snowflake shouldn't even still be here. You should be fading out of existence by now. Those blood vials. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. They're from realities we've already closed off. They shouldn't be here. They can't be here. Such a paradox means you're putting my perfect world at risk. You guys and your bloody free will. What to do? What to do? Well, you certainly can't stay here. You could send us somewhere else. Somewhere we've never been. Hmm. I suppose I could make a little corner somewhere in history. A place where I can dump some of the other shit that I've left over, or I just wipe you from existence. Ooh, hang on. Actually, that all works out perfectly. Well guys, this is it, the last episode of all these tricks and secrets of Black Ops 3 Zombies and it's actually crazy how much support you guys have given me. I'm almost even speechless because we almost got a million views in the giant all these tricks and secrets and almost 12,000 likes in that video. So definitely the support has been insane to say the least. Never I was expecting such a positive feedback even when I made Shadows of Evil all these tricks and secrets which was the first video and I got such a positive feedback that I kept 
me making me motivated to make more videos of these. So definitely the next Call of Duty, which will be from Slash Hammer Games, I will definitely cover the zombies, Easter eggs and secrets. So keep tuned for that and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I wish there was more secrets and Easter eggs in this map. That's why I was delaying so much uh, to upload this video. But once again, thank you for watching. Comment Weevil as that will let me know that you watched until the end, which is awesome.